hi guys welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is mona and i hope your day is going well anyway today i wanted to share with you guys some unpopular opinions about our natural hair so if you're ready for this video please keep on watching <laughs> The reason why your hair might not be growing is because you don't moisturize your hair while in a protective cell or you do not take care of your hair underneath your wig. Some people think it's enough for you to just put your hair in a wig or like put it in a protective cell and just be on your wig. Come back a month later expecting your hair to have grown to your bum, which does not even make any sense because the more you leave your hair to dry out, the more your hair is prone to breaking. So think of it this way. One dry noodle is uncooked. It hasn't touched water. And then wet noodles that have been cooked and you know have come in contact with water or whatever that dry noodles you take out like a strand or a piece of that noodles or that noodle and you snap it it's going to break very easily whereas one that has been hydrated by water and you know the cooking stuff isn't going to break that easily i don't know if i explained it well but you get the point so the more hydrated and moisturized our hair is the stronger it becomes that's literally how our natural hair is so just make sure it's always in contact with products or water just make sure it's never dry so your hair butter leave-in conditioner water especially is what you need for your hair to stay healthy and retain length so another unpopular opinion is that our curl pattern can change over time this one happened to me specifically you can have a specific curl pattern now and then when you start taking care of your hair when you moisturize your hair frequently when you have a routine or a hair regimen that you follow religiously i think your actual curl pattern is going to reveal itself let me explain so when i didn't really know anything about natural hair when i was just you know vibing with my natural hair mind you i wasn't really taking care of my hair i didn't really know any natural hair regimen i wasn't really following any routine i had a specific curl pattern my hair was stronger than how it is now and i started taking care of my hair or rather when i started moisturizing my hair the right way when i started giving my hair what it needed when i started listening to my hair i realized that my hair became softer and easier to manage whereas while i was doing the opposite it was just resistant to it being healthy or having a curl pattern i i have today another reason why your curl pattern might change is because your hair just grew out so I, and i'm not sure how accurate this is just quote me correct me if i'm wrong so while it was on low cut my hair used to be totally 4c whereas when it started to grow out when i started to have some sort of length i realized that my curl pattern sort of changed and i didn't realize it until some people on this youtube pointed it out that listen you're not 4c and which is honestly true because i was going with the curl pattern that i had while i was on low cut so i didn't really understand or i didn't really expect it to change if that makes sense so while i was on low cut i realized that oh my hair is 4c and i just went with that whereas when i had a little bit of length or when i started to have length i realized that i had 4a and i had 4b and i had some 3c so just look out for that when your hair is growing. I'm not saying that if you're a fussy girly and your hair grows, you're automatically going to change. So please do not expect that. I'm not saying that that happens to everybody. That happened to me. And I'm sure it happens to some other people, you know, where you have specific curl pattern now and then all of a sudden or as time goes by, you realize you have other curl patterns, if that makes any sense. So another fact about hair is that our hair is not the same when it comes to trimming so what i mean by that is that you would go on youtube on instagram or somewhere and you hear a creator or some creator say stuff along the line of you should trim your hair every six to eight weeks or something like that or every four times a year that's not accurate that works for them doesn't mean it work for you so the only time you should trim your hair is when you notice split ends on your hair for example i don't trim my hair often i've trimmed my hair only twice this year and we're in december so three times i guess this year i noticed that i don't really have or i have not had split ends in a while so i don't think there's any reason for me to trim my edges does that make any sense so if you go ahead and listen to people that say trim your hair four times a week or trim your hair four times a month or something like that you will end up just cutting off your hair especially if your hair does not require trimming at that time so just look out for that if you don't notice split ends please do not trim your hair because you'll just be cutting your hair the way i notice split ends is the, is when i do a twist when i'm done washing my hair or when my hair is wet and then i do a twist and then the tip of my hair is kind of dry even when it is wet like i don't know how to explain it just it's it's splitting it doesn't curl up like the rest of it i know that that part of my hair needs to you know trim so look out for that 
some people blow dry their hair i personally do not blow dry my hair when i trying to when i'm trying to trim my hair if most people do that i think that's more effective i don't know do what works for you but what i've been doing and what works for me is the wet method so you can always blow dry your hair and look out for split ends i look out for split ends when my hair is wet and in twists it helps me to realize split ends better than when my hair is blow dried so another unpopular opinion about our natural hair is that you don't always need protein treatment listen i know some people that just because they've seen some people get protein treatments online they just think that they automatically need protein treatment that means that if you put protein on your hair when you don't need protein on your hair your hair is going to fall off because that's already protein overload our hair or our scalp or whatever produces we already have protein natural protein on our hair so if you don't need protein meaning if you if you've not gone through heat damages or color damages or stuff like that that warrants you needing an artificial protein to be on your hair please do not get a protein treatment because they're just going to damage your hair even further check with your hairstylist if you trust them to realize if you need a protein treatment i think you would know you would know if your hair needs protein or watch youtube videos where they talk about the use of protein treatment or when to use a protein treatment don't just go ahead and put a protein treatment just because you saw a natural girl or you saw somebody do a protein treatment and you just feel like oh this is going to make my hair healthy you're going to just cut your hair unnecessarily so that's a fact about our hair another unpopular opinion about our natural hair is the fact that if you don't shampoo your hair often your hair is going to cut not shampooing often is very detrimental to your hair so yeah i used to be one of those people that would not shampoo their hair at all i'll wait a whole month thinking that dirt would grow my hair listen you need your hair to be clean for products to be able to work on your strands and for your hair to have breathing space for it to grow okay you don't need to leave your hair for like a whole month or like some weeks before you go in with shampoo and i'm not saying you should just shampoo your hair like every day or something you don't really need to do that shampoo as often as possible especially if you're somebody that puts products on their hair so much i personally like to shampoo my hair every one week one and a half weeks two weeks it doesn't pass two weeks depends on how busy i am but the ideal time to shampoo your hair is once a week so please do not leave your hair dirty thinking it's going to grow your hair it's not going to grow your hair okay another unpopular opinion is that you shouldn't be adding products on your scalp because that would just lead to build up and again would stop your hair from growing your hair won't have any breathing space and your hair will not grow if you're someone that applies product on the scalp especially those people that you know whenever you want to get braids you put like an edge control on the scalp to maybe have like a clear pattern that's fine but don't do it often please you're not supposed to add products on your scalp your products belong to your strands especially hair butter and all those heavy products if you want to add products to your scalp i'd recommend just an oil and before you put an oil you should actually put water first yes water on your scalp and then use an oil to seal it you don't necessarily need to be oiling your scalp every time putting products on your scalp every time that's just going to hurt your scalp nothing is supposed to be on your scalp because it's just a lot so speaking of oils i don't think oils are that important and i know i just talked about oil but i don't think oil are a do or die when it comes to natural hair products or natural hair in general listen you can survive without oils i'm not saying oils are bad or you shouldn't use oils but i'm saying that anybody that is selling to you hair growth oil that's not gonna work okay nothing is going to grow your hair your hair grows on its own but you can use oil when you have itchy scalp or when your scalp is dry or if you want to seal in moisture on your strand but oil in general are not a necessity for your natural hair what you need is a shampoo a conditioner a hair butter a leave-in those are the four things that you actually need and maybe an oil so if you have an oil that's fine if you don't have an oil your hair butter probably has oil components in it so you don't necessarily need an oil so if you are stocking up on oil thinking that an oil is going to grow your hair you're wrong the oil is not the alpha and omega of natural hair please oils are just there to do some things or help with some things but they are not necessarily a necessity for natural hair so the last unpopular opinion i'll be talking about is the fact that you don't necessarily need a normal conditioner before using a deep conditioner during wash day let me explain when you shampoo your hair i see some people going in with the normal conditioner and then a deep conditioner you don't necessarily need a normal conditioner okay if you have a deep conditioner which i would recommend just use a deep conditioner i mean deep conditioners are way better than normal conditioners but if you have a normal conditioner i don't think there's any need to use a deep conditioner you can just go in with a living 
conditioner when you've left the shower what you need to do is just to shampoo and when you're done shampooing your hair you go in with a deep conditioner to just um, strengthen your strands or strengthen your hair in general so that's that you don't need a regular conditioner if you have a deep conditioner so that's all i have for this video i hope you enjoyed it and if you did please give it a huge thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel so grateful for everyone that has subscribed so far i upload new videos every sunday and i'll see you guys next week sunday bye